God, these things are like, are these things like the equivalent of loot boxes? Because I got another one. Hey everyone, it's Geeky Panda here, and if you guys have been enjoying my content, feel free to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification button to be up to date on any and all new content coming out. Let's enjoy the rest of the video. Hey everyone, this is Geeky Panda here yet again, Brandon guys, another one of my videos. This time, I've been going through my closet a lot more recently, and I've been finding like a lot of things that I stored in there that I didn't even realize, and I had to throw some stuff out, like some spare boxes that I really didn't need, but... In one box, I actually uncovered a lot of my old video game magazines. And when I mean old, they're over a decade old for these things. And back then, growing up, we had video game magazines like, you know, PC Gamer, which is still going on. We had, you know, Xbox Official Magazine. We had the PlayStation Magazine, Game Pro, EGM, so on and so forth. But sadly, one by one, they just started, you know, printing, basically. Because with the internet, you get a lot more out of it. So... First up, we're going to look through EGM, or Electronic Gaming Monthly, that was part of 1UP. I actually preferred EGM over Game Informer. So one of the first issues right here, which is a September 2008, issue 232, <laughs> discussing Soul Calibur 5. And, of course, we got an ad for... No, not Soul Calibur 5, I'm sorry. Soul Calibur 4! <laughs> With an ad of it in the back. So it's actually really cool looking through this, seeing all the ads they put in there. The interviews they did, the previews and reviews, like I see right here, coming soon, Silent Hill Homecoming, which we all know how that went. But it's like really cool to see like all these things and all these articles that people have done over the years. So we got that, another issue right here is, you know, Mirror's Edge. I got an issue right here showcasing Resident Evil 5, Wolverine, Watchmen, Killzone 2, which I love and enjoy, which they do have a review of Metal Gear Solid 4 in it. But, again, some of these magazines, I wish they were in better condition, but I was younger, so, yeah. But this is an interesting magazine right here, because this is a uh, hands-on preview of April 2008, issue number 227, of Grand Theft Auto 4. Yes, 4. They have a full-on preview in here with an interview. And the one thing that was in this magazine is they had a preview exclusive first look. I'm going to open it up here. I wish there was a better way to showcase this. Of LEGO Halo. So that covers the Electronic Gaming Monthly, or EGM magazines, uh, which were a part of 1UP, which I, I enjoyed 1UP. 1UP was a great website. Okay, next up is, of course, Game Informer. Now, if you ever shopped at a GameStop, obviously, if you did their, you know, pro, you know, subscribe to their card program, you get the uh, Game Informer magazine. This is a really interesting issue. This is issue 188. December 2008, it was a holiday buying guide, but it had the world exclusive details of Halo 3 Recon, ultimately becoming Halo ODST right in here. Now again, uh, this magazine is still, for the most part, in pretty good condition, but yeah, like, you had all this stuff in here. And originally, Halo ODST, uh, Halo 3 ODST was Halo, uh, was uh, originally called, you know, Halo 3 uh, Recon. And, yeah, like, <laughs> let me just try to go through this magazine right here. I'm trying not to, like, tear any any pages, because that'd be, like, really, really bad. But, yeah, like, like right here. As a Halo fan, this is awesome. So, we got that right there. Going through my other mags, we got Batman Arkham Asylum. Dragon, uh, Dragon Age Origins, uh, what is this? I always love it, they do like, the, you know, this is your last issue, resubscribe now, you know, go to GameStop, just do it! And right under here, I actually kind of like this, because it, you don't know what's on the other cover, but for here, uh, we got Assassin's Creed 2. One of the special issues I do have from Game Informer here is issue 200. This is... They did a top 200 games of all time for this issue. Now, for this one, you got uh, one of eight covers, and mine is, of course, Metroid. But they listed all down here the top 200 games ever made. So, I wish this was in better condition, and I'm, you know, but... You know, goes you know goes to say that at least I own one. L.A. Noir issue back in something something something. Portal 2 and the expiration notice started to become a sticker, which really annoyed me. Bullet Storm, underrated game, mind you. We got one. Oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> when was this? This was 200, the 250th issue. 
Jesus Christ. This was uh, February 2014. Evolve. <laughs> Need I say more? This is 20 pages on Metal Gear Solid, Ground Zeroes, The Phantom Pain, and everything else in between. So I have two copies of this. This was actually a March 2014 issue 251. So I have it right here, and I believe this is a yes on the back. Again, I love Yoji Shinkawa's artwork, so it's really cool that I still have it. I went out of my way to save it. This was a December 2010 issue, basically another holiday guide here, but it had a really unique cover involving a couple of video game characters right here. Like in front, you see Master Chief, Commander Shepard, you know, we got oh, Psychonauts. They always do this. They always have like a holiday issue, like holiday buying guy, what to get for the holidays, all that dandy stuff. And it's actually kind of pretty thick too, so. That's what she said. Ha, I don't get it. Uh, what other covers were they featured? We got Singularity, and this is issue 190, February 20, uh, 2009. The top 50 games of 2008 revealed. Yeah, Singularity cover. And on the back you had the House of the Dead Overkill for the Wii. I don't know. This one, issue 191, March of uh, tw uh, 2009, God of War 3. And we also got another service suspension notice from GameStop. Please renew! <laughs> so the cover for this is actually going to be Bioshock 2. That's really cool. Uh, God, these things are like... Are these things like the equivalent of loot boxes? Because I got another one. So again... Now the suspension, you gotta renew this. This was actually from when I was living in Ohio. Wow, okay, this is actually really interesting. When I was still living in Ohio. What is this, what is this? <laughs> oh my God. July uh, 2008, issue 183, we got Infamous for the PS3. I don't got that much left, so let's see what we got going on here. We got Star Trek Online, October 2008 issue, uh, issue 186. We got Wolfen wow, Wolfenstein, August of 2008, world exclusive. Remember Guitar Hero? Yeah, I remember Guitar Hero too. <laughs> but apparently this is a world exclusive on Guitar Hero 4. So this was issue 182, June of 2008. Man, I'm just like looking through this stuff and... Jesus. They also have, they had an article in here of the top 10 video game books. Again, they, oh, that's why I love reading these magazines because they always have interesting articles there to help add substance to it. Look at this. <laughs> Metal Gear Online, part of Metal Gear Solid 4. Last but not least is a, let's see, what issue is this? Uh, 204, uh, what month? Uh, April 2010, this is Portal 2. Hey, this is actually from my college days. Yeah, I had the I had it sent to my uh, dorm room, so I was still reading these magazines when I was going to art college for video game art and design. And again, uh, again, this is just so interesting to go through. Like, again, all the stuff I could just easily, you know, I miss video game magazines because you know, actually going to the store, picking these up, or getting this a subscription, and just going through the pages, wondering, you know, what are the reviews. What are the previews? What's going to be the exclusive story? Like, this is how some people got their news. Back when the internet was still in, in its infancy, you know, people, you know, read a lot of magazines. Because it was just better and easier. Nowadays, we got the internet full speed, and you don't need to go to a store anymore. You don't, you know, you can just go online to, you know, there's articles made by thousands of people out there from different websites and companies to bloggers and all that dandy stuff. You've got YouTubers as well making content. You know, you don't have to read anything. You can just watch it now. But it's just really interesting to see, you know, where, you know, where we left. And actually, I'm really intrigued that I want to kind of go, you know, go through these magazines together with you guys. But I have to develop a rig to point the camera down looking at it, which I do have some ideas because uh, uh, someone had a rig set up back at Retro World Expo for that very purpose. But this is just really interesting history right here. I'm just like, again, I have these all in a box, you know, just collecting dust. Now I'm actually opened it up going through these things. And it's so crazy to see these things like hell, freaking EGM. 
they haven't been around in so long and now I hear they're planning to do another magazine run like please I enjoy you know the content in these magazines more than Game Informer. Game Informer you're good but I preferred EGM. Overall though yeah you know uh overall this was a really interesting find you know I'm just kind of curious to see what else I have in my closet. I don't know like I, I started going through the other stuff I had like a box of uh, DVDs that I didn't realize I had and I'm like oh my god this is actually really interesting so with that here folks thank you guys for watching so much uh, figuring out what kind of video game magazines I have I'm gonna try to keep these things in as good of, as good of enough shape they are old but again some of these are really interesting so other than that folks thank you guys so much for checking out this video post down in the comment box of what video game magazine were you subscribed to that you enjoyed a lot don't forget that like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Also, if you really want to help support the channel, I do have a Patreon page, and I'm partnered with Ashk.moe for all your anime and otaku fandom needs. This is Geeky Man here. I'm out. Stay geeky, my friends. Mm -hmm.